Good morning, night, ladies and gents. <laughs> this is the late night format. This is the late night format. This is the late night format. Insert quip here. Coming to you live from a cardboard box through a complex system of tin can strings and good vibes. Reminding you to spade, neuter, and dress your pets in tiny cowboy outfits. Here to remind you to wear sunblock even when it's cloudy. 22% of all sunburns happen during overcast weather. Also, 73.6% of statistics are made up on the spot. That where everything is made up and the points don't matter. That's right, the points are just like your opinion of iOS 7. It just doesn't matter. Um, the second installment of the Hunger Games trilogy, Catching Fire, was released in theaters this past Friday. In other news, all the theaters across the nation have burned down. <laughs> what a crazy random happenstance that I is. I know! How will I see Delivery Man now? Uh, Lady Gaga has secured a ticket on Virgin Galactic to be the first ever recording act uh, artist to sing in space. God, she's blowing up. Jack! Oh my <laughs> god, that's horrible! Uh, now moving on to actually interesting news, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West got engaged! He jumped out onto the field and yelled, I'ma let you finish, but I'm making the greatest proposal of all time. Oh god, that joke never gets old. The Emmy for the best portrayal of an actor goes to Jim Parsons for beating Alec Baldwin yet again and getting away with actually being seen as an actor for this long. I agree with that. We are wearing pajamas in the studio today and we are so comfortable. I just figured that if government officials don't have to dress for work today, neither should we. A Florida woman renewed her vows to her loving husband, Bruce. They were originally married in July after a 30 year long relationship. That is excellent. Yeah, Bruce is a Ferris wheel. Jimmy what's his face in his words, if you want to marry a shoe, you can go marry a shoe. <laughs> if you want to marry a Ferris wheel, you can go marry a Ferris wheel. And she did. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Bob Lerman, so I feel like I dodged a bullet. Because he did Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio and that girl with the face. Well, she has a face? Movies were good when I was ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a couple things in common with uh, Liz Lemon. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> That might not want to be what uh, every girl has to hear, but I say that with all the love in the world. Indeed. And I accept it with all the love in the world. <laughs> it's literally just about appliances who are friends. <laughs> but it's so great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've had two shows, and vomiting is mentioned in both of them. Hi, Sarah, this is Regis Philbin from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <gasps> Dad? <laughs> How did you find out? Are you my father? Did you just ruin the movie? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing after this? You want to uh, go to the health center too, so you can get some ointment for that bird? Ah, thank ah! you so much for doing that, because I wanted to do it to myself so badly. <laughs> The most sensitive listeners. Remember that time I walked into your room wearing my snuggie and you just you looked so ashamed of me. And I just I was doing like, oh, I hear some people have dignity. I don't know, I don't know where that, where that was. And you're just, it's buried in the pockets of your snuggie. Do you remember that? I'm so funny! I think it was a monkey one year, so I literally just dressed in all brown and then made a tail out of paper and stuck it to my butt. Special guest co-host this evening, Jack Spear, here interning in the studio with the beautiful Adi Sleep Hack. She is a wonderful and benevolent mentor, and this is not in the script. Wait, that was that? You just... <laughs> For some explanation, I refused to let Jack read that part of the script because I thought it would be a beautiful and organic reaction, and it was. Which of the following states is better than New Jersey? A. New York B. New York C. New York Or D. New York So there's this one villain called Femme Fatale and she's like a feminist and so she goes into banks and only steals Susan B. Anthony coins <laughs> <laughs> And then at the end of it um, they kind of like confront her and it's like Do you even know what Susan B. Anthony did? And they give a history lesson while they kick her butt 
Tally Hall will be air quotes performing. 21 Pilots, John Qu Smiths. Yeah, it is still recording. Bye.